Do we use the extra tablet? Or do we don't use the extra tablet? Survey says... Survey says bunny sus. And I agree. We'll do that for a little bit more. More than a few seconds. So, yeah. So much has happened here. So much has happened. But, ultimately it comes down to... Bunny is sus. Thinking about going back to that first vote for a second. The first prey vote. I'm gonna say, I... It was feeling like this might be Dog's path, but... In a way, this could be Bunny's. Because if Bunny and Dog are both the tra are both the traitors in this path, in this mini path, then uh, that leaves us with uh, Bunny was in the group that voted for Dragon. Dog's in the group that voted for Ox. I think that's how it went. I think it was backwards. No, Bunny was in the group that voted for Ox. So we have we had we were supposed to have an even vote on the first vote, but Ox got six votes and Dragon didn't get five. means that Bunny could have potentially voted for someone else other than Ox and then Dragon could have Dog could have voted for Ox which inadvertently led to Ox's death it's uh Still hard to say, but I think it's safe to say that we don't trust Bunny. We should vote Pig. However, ethically, we can't use that second tablet. What? Even if she might be the traitor, we don't know that. We can't risk killing an innocent. We'll give Pig four votes and tie it. We'll figure out what to do from there. Fine with me. It is a more humane option. I, for one, don't love this. But if it's what you want... More importantly, we should hurry up and do it. The cycle's going to end any minute now. Bunny wasn't wrong. We quickly split up into separate rooms so we could use our tablets. Bunny still has the extra tablet. I inputted my run action for the round. For the prayer cycle, I voted against Pig. I hoped we were doing the right thing here. It wasn't half a minute after inputting my actions that round six ended. I heard an announcement on my tablet. The total of five prayers. The great dr dr draconic gods have heeded the group's wishes and strike down bow. Well, what? What the hell? They should have. They only should have had four votes. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Bunny. Why were they voting me? Those are the last thoughts I could form before my brain started fizzing, fuzzing out. While well, the knives would indeed enter my throat, I was mercifully choked out, before I could feel the metal grind through my vocal cords and fill my mouth with blood. Thank God for the small miracles. Five of clubs. The race with the prayer statue is completely different. It's a bloodthirsty game which won't tolerate a weak heart. No one will be able to beat those with the victorious and defeated personalities unless they're willing to get their hands dirty. Mouse's death here isn't without nobility. Better to be a killer than dead. Interesting. It's still hard to say for sure, because we aren't actually far enough in yet to, uh... determine that for sure. Well, sorry to those who voted, but... Once again, we get a but thou must. But thou must. It's hard to tell sometimes whether one of these choices is going to lead to a quick bad end, or it's going to lead to a more significant split. For the most part, I guess for the most part, when we actually get choices this deep in a route, they're usually pretty quick diversions to an ending, so I should have known. Alright, I really really hate the idea of killing someone potentially innocent, 
However, we have no choice. We can only hope she betrayed us first. Kind of a funny thing to hope for, huh? I hate this. I really, really hate this. But letting Pig keep forming these groups for her own safety will only lead to destruction. This way we'll end it. We'll trust Bunny is right with his suspicions. His theory makes plenty of sense to me. This is a plan I find morally questionable. But I suppose there must be times one puts their morals aside and focuses on the tasks at, task at hand. We're right to do this. We don't have a choice. Let's not forget the real monster is Brian for making us go through all this. More importantly, we should hurry up and do it. The cycle's going to end any minute now. But he wasn't wrong. We quickly split up into separate rooms so we could use our tablets. I inputted my run action for the round. For the prayer cycle, I voted against Pig. I hoped we were doing the right thing there. It wasn't half a minute after inputting my actions that round six ended. I heard an announcement on my tablet. With a total of five prayers, the, Drake, the great draconic gods have heeded the group's wishes and strike down Pig. And so it was done. It was Pig's fault for trying to kill me. She started these group voting murders. I was right to do this, wasn't I? I still don't think it was Pig, wasn't I? I struggled to answer that. At this point, looking for the answers would do me no good. I had already sealed most of my emotions. Guilt would have to join the club. I'd deal with my fractured psyche when I was safe. More importantly, I should go and check on Pig to see if she was really the traitor. Checking her tablet should make that clear. Went down to the cafeteria with Monkey, Bunny, and Dog. There, Dragon, Horse, and Sheep were mourning Pig. They were not pleased to see us. What did you all do? You killed her. Surprised you'd show your ugly mug here, Bunny, seeing as you totally sold us out. So I can't expect more from a traitorous rat bastard. I didn't mean... Where'd you get off saying something like that? You also switched sides to join the library group in the first place. That's... Fuck you! Yeah, yeah, that's not the important part. Was she a traitor? No. We already checked the personality on her tablet. She wasn't victorious or defeated. No. That means you killed her for nothing. And I suppose there was a lot of meaning in killing Rooster. Don't think I forgot about that. Don't think I'll forgive that. Mad about Rooster's death, huh? Bunny, I didn't take you for a fangirl. He was certainly a trying man at times to deal with. However, I feel like I knew him well enough to say he was a pure soul at heart. He certainly did have a lot more going on than his, uh, boisterous, uh, idiotic front of a personality. Having him killed for no good reason greatly upsets me. So what's the play now? Everyone listen up. Things have gotten real fucked. Obviously. But there's, a no, but there's no easy way of resolving this. There's not going to be a safe play until the traitors are gone and dead. It's clear they're willing to do whatever to stay alive. The only answer I see is a simple one, but it's one I don't think people will like. What is it? Group debates on who to eliminate. Right here, we'll just talk about who's most suspicious. Argue it out. Alright. Then we take turns entering the bathroom over there and casting our votes. If someone dies, we check their tablet and see whether or not they were the traitor. Repeat until we're done. Are you serious? That's crazy? And your suggestion? Huh? You've just coasted along for a while with no real opinion, haven't you? Well, now's your time to stand up. Very true, you've just been coasting along with the group. Whatever felt like would offer you the greatest safety. If you can think of a better way of handling things, speak up. Um, I... What exactly do you think you're doing? I'm asking Sheep to explain herself. Got a problem with it? Actually, I do. Why are you wasting time like that? Seem fun. I think a Socratic seminar seems like a fairly logical method of handling this dispute. I don't hate the idea. Seems a little brutal, but that can hardly be helped. Does this seem like a good idea? Sure. Things clearly suck. 
No plan we can think of will be able to stop traitors from screwing us over. So I guess that, that this is as good an idea as any to settle things. So you're endorsing this as the way to go? I'm not really endorsing it so much as I don't know what else to do. I'll take it. And so, like it or not, this shitty praying game had reached its final stage. Perhaps this was the inevitable conclusion based on the rules presented. The logical culmination of everyone's distrust and self-interest. It all led to a brutal popularity contest with deadly stakes. If there ever was a time to put on a game face, it was now. Survivor Zodiac Edition For my sake in the groups, I had to put forward the best arguments I could. Oh, who's suspicious to start with? I distrust everyone who went along with the library group voting plan. It was ill-conceived and selfish. Most importantly, it was the perfect cover for a traitor. I thought we had already, I thought we already talked about how one traitor was outside that group. For one, Buddy already brought up the how that was inconclusive proof. For another, even if one traitor was outside that group, that doesn't make things any less suspicious. If you're going to bring up the if we're going to bring up old, suspicious stuff, then let's talk about the very first vote, the one that killed Ox. We know from that that at least one traitor has to come from horse or dog. Is that so? I know I'm not the traitor. If I wanted to kill you all, I'd do it without the stupid voting system. Yeah. Yeah. That's accurate. Are we sure the first, the first vote really tells us anything? Oh, oh boy, you what now? Boy, mate, eh. For all we know, someone like Tiger or Snake was a traitor, and it was their doing. We haven't had a chance to confirm their tablets, have we? Besides, we don't know if that was even the result of the traitor. There could be some reason that a non-traitor didn't vote for Dragon. Or hell, maybe Ox and Dragon met up and decided to not vote against each other. Or then Dragon betrayed that agreement. Now why the hell would I do something stupid like that? We're talking about suspicions. Have you forgot who said that stupid item number in the allowed in the first place? Bunny did. That's huge grounds for suspicion. Like we already said, I didn't know what that item was was then. How could that have been done out of evil? Bunny's right. I don't think it's very likely that someone like him would use these methods if he wanted to kill us all. Gee, thanks. You're a real Carl Leone, aren't you? Uh, Carl Leone? It's a reference for cultured people. Trust me. I am nothing if not cultured. So. I say as I'm googling it right now. Uh. Uh. Mmm. Uh, oh my. Mmm. Mmm. I am not going to bring up Carl Leone. Yeah. Don't like that. Alright, moving on. Should I add something to this conversation? <clears throat> what to say? I can tell you what I think, honestly. I trust Dragon. I think Dragon's probably innocent. Now that's what I'm talking about. Why do you think that? Even if people inside the library could have used the tablets taken off the dead bodies, I don't think Dragon could have. He was walking outside the library almost the whole time, right? So she was probably monitored almost all the time. But Mouse, what if she's the other traitor? That's possible. But she's 50% less likely to be the traitor, right? I guess. Well, for my money, I think it's sheep. Tch, you would. Now why would you say that? Because I have such impeccable instincts. The question is why you're accusing someone like Sheep. She hasn't done anything to anyone. That's exactly my point. She's a floater, to put it in reality TV terms. 
He's always in a group. Good at convincing other people to do things. Very meek. She doesn't strike out with opinions of her own. She just sort of joins in with the, the opinions of others. And furthers them. If she was a traitor, her only chance of getting away with it would be thanks to a voting system like this. He does have a point, though. He just seems like the traitor type. Call it a hunch. I'll call it bullshit. Uh, guys, I think the cycle's almost up. Need to quickly put in some votes. But he was absolutely right. Quickly, we cycled in and out of the restroom, taking turns to make our votes. Personally, I decided to vote for Dog. Oh! Something didn't sit right with me about him, and I kept remembering the votes from the first cycle. A couple moments after we had all voted, a familiar announcement played on our tablets. With a total of three prayers, the great dra draconic gods have heeded the group's wishes and strike down sheep. No! Oh. Simple word. Sheep said it, then she immediately passed out on the ground. Not from the collar, but from shock. Oh. This was a lucky break. It made her usually painful death. Rather, pa rather painless. I averted my eyes. I had no urge to watch someone like her die. But in my head, I prayed that she was secretly a monster who would try to kill us. After a beat, Bunny walked over and picked up Sheep's tablet. A few seconds later, he sighed. A weak personality. Not victorious. Not defeated. Another pointless death. Damn it. I was really sure about her. Dog, you voted for Sheep? I already said I suspected her, didn't I? Who else voted for her? I did. As did I. Oh no. I voted for Bunny. A girl with a good instincts. Uh, me? If you're looking for an apology, you're not getting one. I voted for Dog. As did I. My oh my, I'm so unpopular. People who make dumb accusations are suspicious. Just because I was wrong doesn't make it dumb. <laughs> Not to diverge for a moment, but... You know that one game, Noja? Just like single-player mafia? I was playing that game the other day, and... It just... Had like a few ra a few loops in a row where... Someone who, someone who was the engineer came out and said that someone reported that someone was a Noja. And then immediately, like, five people piled on and says, Ah, they can't be trusted. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I guess, I guess that's this, this same axiom and this same thing in practice. People who make dumb accusations are suspicious. <laughs> Just ironic. She wasn't with us anymore, so we couldn't ask who she voted for. Instead, a silence took over the room. There was an uncomfortableness in the air. What was there to say? We had tried to debate it, and we had gotten it wrong. It was almost notable, also notable that Dog, the person who accused Sheep, had gotten the second most votes. Accusation, accusations brought suspicion on the accuser. Because of that, no one wanted to speak first. Time flew by. Eventually we realized the cycle was getting close to being finished. We should probably start voting. I'll go first. Without much more conversation, Dog entered the bathroom. While he was gone, however, the conversation reignited. That dog just does whatever the fuck he wants to, huh? I can't trust someone like that. I've been thinking about it. I think really think he might be the traitor. He was also outside the library group when the dead people had their tablets taken away. He was supposed to vote Dragon in the first cycle. Bunny started to say that Dog exited the, bath the restroom and Bunny entered. There we cycled in and out fairly silently, but then the cycle ended. Once again, a dreaded tablet announcement played. The total of three prayers, the great draconic gods have heeded the group's wishes and strike down Dog. What? Only disinterested Dog's eyes shot open. A look of panic and fear spread across his face. It looked like he had more to say, but before another word could exit his mouth, he began to dance the familiar death. Couldn't bear to watch it again. It was always utterly horrifying. I turned back around when I heard the thud of a body hitting the floor. Bunny picked up the tablet and started interacting with it. Eh, arrogant bastard really didn't see it coming. 
you just chuckle at someone dying? What the fuck is wrong with you? Don't get too offended yet, Mouse. I don't think many of us are going to be mourning him. What do you mean? Take a look, take a look at his tablet. His personality is defeated. Wait, so that means... We finally hit a traitor. We... <laughs> we only killed... Like... 75% of the group, but we finally hit a traitor. A wave of relief flooded my heart. Thank God. I shouldn't be feeling this good about someone dying, but I couldn't help myself. For once, death wasn't in vain. But after the initial joy, I turned to being puzzled. I mean, yeah, I voted for Dog, but was he really the type to kill this many people just to get his way? What could have motivated him so much? Drive a man to commit such acts. Was it all in the name of self-preservation? Don't forget the guy who not only suggested that someone could have snuggled extra tablets into the library group, but also obtained extra tablets to be used. Don't forget about Buddy. I was hung up on this. The rest of the group celebrated. Hell yeah. We finally got one. I knew something was off with that fucker. For the record, who actually voted for him? I sure as hell did. I also voted for him. I voted for Dog. I see, I see. You were all convinced. Well, we were right, weren't we? I guess that's true. We'd have a lot more questions if we were wrong, but... Dog must have been the one behind Ox's death. You smarmy bastard. He likely lied about who he voted for in the second cycle. He was also probably the one who collected the tablets off the dead people. Crafty little bastard, isn't he? Indeed. While he was forced into unfortunate circumstances, I cannot, con I cannot condone his actions. Still, I will pray for his soul. Hopefully his actions, spurred on by the cruel heart of a boy, can be forgiven. Well, I won't. Fuck him. And fuck anyone who tries to step to the slugger queen. Yes, queen. So what now? Huh? Surely you all didn't forget that there are two traitors. Just because one is dead doesn't mean things are over. Shit, you're right. Not necessarily. Huh? Think about it. We don't know the personality of a number of the, de of the, number of the deceased. We theorized it was possible, but we never got confirmation that the two traitors contacted each other. That idea actually sounds far, fairly far-fetched. It's very possible that in all the hubbub of what's happened, the other traitor is already dead. But how likely is that? Well, think about it. If both were alive, don't you think that there would have been more moves? Ever since Snake's death, all the votes have been entirely explainable. There haven't really been any liars or anything. Yeah, that's all well and good, but we don't actually know that they're dead. Are we supposed to just take it on fate? What's the other option? Start killing each other and hope the traitor's still alive? It seems like a recipe for pointless slaughter. Guys, I have a great idea. What? We just have to tie again. This plan again? No, trust me, it'll work this time. There's only five of us left, which means anyone breaking from the plan will be super obvious. Mouse is totally right. Mouse and myself can vote for Horse, Horse and Dragon can vote for me, and Monkey can vote for no one. If we do this, hopefully no one will die. A clever plan. Bunny, you're gonna kill Horse, aren't you? I suppose that makes sense. We also need to input this round's action. Grimly enough, with all the deaths, the minor trinkets we have now are enough. Let's spread them out and activate them. So we each took a hold of a minor trinket and took turns entering the restroom to use our tablets. I used my minor trinket and prayed for Horse's death. Of course, I didn't actually pray for that, but that's the button I pressed on my tablet. This was the first time I actually went into one of these things confident. There were too few people for a traitor to make a move. In fact, the other traitor was probably dead. You fool! Nothing to worry about. At the end of the cycle, we were all gathered around in the cafeteria. You utter fool! I heard the television announcing the round's results. However, it was drowned out by the announcement on our tablets. Yep, with a total of three prayers, the great draconic gods have heeded the group's wishes and strike down horse. See, what? How is... Horse's face scrunched up in a look of determination. I knew what was about to happen. I turned around once more. 
and was too clouded with despair to figure out what had happened. It took longer for the thud to come than usual, but a thud did come. Horse died, just like the rest of them. Four were left. What the fuck? What the fuck? How the hell did this happen? No, I thought this was over. Smarmy bastard. This is certainly unexpected. Did we just forget about the extra tablet that you had? Did we just think that you ditched the extra tablet, Bunny? How did we forget about it? Monkey, the traitor's gotta be you. What? Didn't you hear? Horse got three votes. He must have voted against... Alongside Bunny and Mouse had killed him. There has to be some sort of other explanation. How? Maybe a dead person's tablet was used. Seriously? We would have seen if somebody took an extra tablet with them. And there are no tablets in the bathroom. What a desperate excuse. Then it was Dragon. Huh? Playing coy. A standard maneuver of liars. Instead of voting for Bunny like she said she would, she voted for Horse. There. Simple as that. No way it's me. Stop trying to pin the blame elsewhere. I'm just looking for the most logical explanation. The most logical explanation is that you did it. Everyone shut up! I shouted at them with all the emotions I had been holding up. They turned to me and looked disturbed by my outburst. I didn't care. I had had enough with the traitor and their shit. I'm sick and tired of this. The traitor is obvious. Who is the traitor? Well... This isn't even worth a vote, because it's Bunny. It's definitely Bunny. What? Mouse, what are you talking about? Bunny couldn't have made Horse get three votes. He was already supposed to vote Dragon. Yeah, the argument's between me and Monkey right now. That's exactly what Bunny intended to happen. Why he did things like this? Did things like what? Mouse, you're being ridiculous right now. You voted for Horse. And you used a dead man's tablet to vote for him as well. The how? You saw that I only brought my own tablet into the restroom. You didn't need to bring a tablet into a different room. You voted right in front of our very eyes. Huh? Buddy, when you were checking Dog's tablet, you used it to vote for Horse without any without any of us noticing, didn't you? As the other traitor, you must have realized that you were entering an unfavorable situation once there was only five of us left. It doesn't surprise me that you had a plan prepared for that round. After voting Horse, you guided the conversation so Horse was one of the options we were voting for, we were voting on to tie it. Also, you could be innocent in this debate. That all makes sense to me. You bastard. You tried to set us up, didn't you, you son of a bitch? Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. Mouse is totally off base. I didn't do anything like that. Pulse gun. You think that's evidence that I'm that I'm the traitor? This isn't this isn't a, this isn't a game about evidence. It's about who's the likeliest traitor. If we're talking about who's suspicious, there are piles and piles of red flags with you. Starting with the formation of the library group. What about it? You said Pig founded that group. No way in hell. She wasn't proactive enough to form something like that. In fact, it looked to me like she was the last to join. She surprised me, too, but she was super enthused about it. No, she wasn't. You formed that group by taking the most desperate people and gathering them together. You hoped to take control of the game by staying in the majority. But Dog interrupted that plan by overwhelming your group with numbers. It's probably why you convinced the same people to reform that group and bring in Dragon. I seriously don't know what you're talking about. For a time, you used that group to vote people out. However, for some reason, you sensed that that was the sinking ship and decided to pivot. By offering a handout to us, you gained our trust while taking out another big competitor. That was the point it devolved into a complete contest of the group voting out the most suspicious. Being the social manipulator that you are, that's the situation you were aiming for. At that point, you were fairly confident that Dog was the other traitor. Since you knew which actions you were responsible for, you could more easily narrow down who the other traitor must be. That's why you contact contacted with him there, didn't you? Contacted with him? Now you're spitting nonsense at this point. I was right in front of you guys the whole time. The random comment about a Carl Leone. 
That was some sort of code, wasn't it? Code only fellow cops would get? Now you're just being ridiculous. Carl Leone is a very respected actor, I'll have you know. Really? Name three movies he was in. The Carl Leone that I'm seeing is a Canadian businessman who was jailed for 15 counts of uh, very unpleasant shit. He doesn't do movie work, he acts in television. Then, then TV shows. Uh, Holy Holes, Shake Sands with Danger, and Frankenstein Cop. I haven't heard of a single one of those shows. How's that my fault? I would know about Frankenstein Cop if that was a thing. I love Frankenstein. Clearly you wouldn't. You and, you and Dog conspired to pin suspicion on sheep. You're saying I worked with Dog? Why did I vote for him? You voted for him because you realized public sentiment was against him. He had the most votes other than sheep the round before. Then when you heard Dragon talking about him being suspicious, you decided it was best to jump aboard the bandwagon. This is all ridiculous. Oh yeah? Then who do you think is the traitor? I don't know. Monkey? Dragon? It's not me. It's sure as hell not me. You're both right. It's Bunny. You're totally right, Mouse. This guy's been scummy no matter how you look at it. In all but one vote, he's been on the majority side. That's the kind of situation that only occurs if you're deliberately pulling some strings. The traitor in this case is likely someone who possessed an acute sense of social awareness. That does not appear to be in dragon style. It is, however, consistent with the personality Bunny has displayed. It's over, Bunny. Just admit it. Bunny's got a gun. With an anger look on his face, Bunny started walking towards me. He also stuffed his left hand in his pocket. He's walking past Dragon. Dragon, help. He had previously inspected Dog's body. Dragon, help. That means... Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Help Dragon. Reverse that. Just as, he, just as he suddenly yanked out a golden knife from his pocket and slashed at Dragon's neck, I slammed into him. He'd almost forgotten the last move available to him. With just four left, he only had three people left. He could have just ambushed Dragon with a weapon. He might have been able to get away with it. After knocking him to the ground, I started to re-run away. But he sprung back up and tried to grab my foot. Luckily, a pissed Dragon reeled back and gave him a solid kick to the head. Dragon's attack sent Bunny tumbling to a nearby column. Ah! Fucking bitch! That's what you get for trying to fuck with me! So these are your true colors. Disgusting. What the fuck was I supposed to do? Curl over and die? Put up with so much shit, done so much shit, and all led up to me dying in some shitty high school? Fuck that! This whole thing's totally unfair. Why the hell am I being punished? For arresting the right guy? For doing my job? It's bullshit and you know it, Brian. Tell me, why do I have to go through this? I don't deserve to die like this. Anyone else did? If they didn't want to die, they should they should have done something about it. Like I did. And how'd that work out for you? It's unfair. It's unfair. It's unfair. Why am I here for catching a criminal? Doing my job. Is that why you're here? What? I didn't think it was I didn't think it particularly pertinent before this, so I didn't bring it up. I saw that there was an article ripped out and posted on the board in a global studies classroom. It talked about a controversial police shooting. The police officer in it apparently had very little just justification for firing and killing a low-level felon who was later revealed to be unarmed. But ultimately, nothing came of it. Shocker, I know. That's talking about you, isn't it, Jerry Braxton? Oh, hello, real names. For real? That's you? I heard that story. It's just another instance of the city system being completely fucked. Huh. Makes sense that this trash should be so open to reckless murder. Bunny? Nah, you should have been the one we called Pig. Pig? <laughs> Thank you, Dragon. I've... I've... 
I've been stifling that. I've been stifling that for this whole time, ever since Bunny started showing true colors in other routes. I've been stifling that for this whole time. Thank you. Thank you, Dragon, for saying that. God, you're the best. That wasn't me. What? Yes, I was the officer that I talked about in the story, but the story's wrong. I never shot anyone. You think we'll buy that? Look. I learned how to make people like me from a very young age. Got a lot of practice learning to appease my parents. Ah. Uh, the secret is just to go along with whatever people want. Let them have control, then they appreciate you. In school, I was pretty popular. I had a lot of friends. Everyone liked me. I was actually feeling pretty good about myself. Then I heard that some of my closer friends were actually acting like dicks to other kids at school. I confronted them about it. Just like that, it all fractured. The slightest bit of opposition, and all of a sudden, I was the enemy. People I thought were close had turned on me, bullied me incessantly. It's not like I had allies from the other kids, because in their eyes, they were my friends for a long time. I was complicit. I have a feeling I know where this is going. An instant I fell from heaven to hell. Why are you telling us this? It's important to know what that I learned from early on how cruel things were when society turns against you. How quickly your relationships can break. I spent two and a half hellish years learning that lesson. But when I finally joined the police force, I knew not to fuck things up. Being candid, the force is in a pretty shitty state. It's a lot of corruption, malpractice, and frankly shitty people working there. Chief of Police Bowen is either incredibly incompetent or behind the atmosphere. It was a station full of assholes. To fit in, you had to assimilate. I heard my lesson about making my move early. I went along with them. Maybe I went along with them a little too much. To the point where they got me on camera joining in on things like planning illegal drugs at a crime scene. Fucker. Was it my idea? You're complicit, though. I just had to go along with my senior officers. I knew it was fucked. I was only still working there because I thought I could help combat it in the long run. Then one of Bowen's top men fucked up. They shot someone they shouldn't have shot. And I was asked to take the fall. You went along with that. I was assured that nothing would come of it. But I went against that force. There was no telling what footage might get out. Might get out. But the media might spit in things. Are you saying the chief of police is blackmailing his police officers? Why didn't you fight against this? Who do you think has more influence? Who would win this fight? And you kept working there. And leaving the force that would have fixed anything? Staying definitely wasn't the right option. Huh. I don't think you get how things work, Mouse. Unless you let groups control you, you don't get to control the group. It's a give-and-take relationship. If you go along with what other people say, they're far more likely in turn to be influenced by you. There really wasn't a choice for me. I don't know if you thought your story would have made me sympathetic to you, but it only made me hate your guts more. Let's end this. Wait, wait, wait. What? You don't have to do this. Yeah, we do. No, you don't. Yes, I'll admit it. I'm the victorious personality. Which means that I can win with two other people. Monkey Mouse, there's two of you. If you just turn against Dragon, the rest of us can get out together. Are you seriously proposing that? Why would you want to work with a murderer? Don't be so dramatic. All I did was push some buttons. Dragon's an actual criminal. criminal. A gang leader. I'm a good cop who's trying to reform a broken system. See, the thing, about, the thing about the broken system is that there's documented stories in our reality of the good cops who get ostracized and vilified by the base, the unions, and all, all the shit for trying to expose, expose corruption expose misdeeds, trying to get people punished 
for wrongdoing in the police force. How the best cops don't stay cops. Because they realize the system's fucked and get out. Maybe he went in with good intentions. With, his, with the goal of sticking his hands in, trying to move up, and then trying to reform the system from a more prominent position. But I feel like, in this case, those good intentions are gone. They got swallowed up by the mess that was, that is, the police force in this city. So, may have once have may have once had good intentions, but I don't see it anymore. Think about it. Who should really get out of this situation? Oh, go fuck yourself! Dragon picked up the knife Bunny had dropped on the floor. Wait, wait. Bunny tried to protest, but Dragon walked up to Bunny with a threatening look in her eyes. In response, Bunny threw a punch at her. It missed. With an uppercut, Dragon struck the knife, stuck the knife up Bunny's jaw. Jesus. Pulled it out, and blood splattered out. Bunny's eyes shot open, and he tried to speak out something. The wound, however, punctured some part of his vocal cord. All he could do was sputter. Final, most brutal death of this race. Jesus. Not an execution, but a lynching. Dragon stood over Bunny as he collapsed, covered in blood. He turned over to look at me and, mon me and Monkey. We looked at each other and said nothing. We could hardly condone what just happened. But I certainly wasn't going to do anything about it. The rest of the race went by quickly. We used the minor trinkets to race toward the end. It would have been close if, it if just three of us used trinkets. If we operated the dead people's tablets and had them use trinkets as well. So it took three rounds to reach the finish line. There wasn't much discussion or celebration amongst us survivors. How could there be? There were only three of us. My eyes kept wandering to Bunny's sad corpse. He had fought so hard to survive. And for what? Monkey Dragon and myself were the only survivors. But Brian was cackling in the viewing room right now. We had well and truly broke down and killed each other until there were almost none, no one left. Exactly what he wanted. This wasn't a victory. We had lost too many people to call it that. The only one satisfied with this ending was Brian. Brian was satisfied. That means we lost. Have a spades. The second call is found in the first three rounds, but he will be assigned a role that forces him to act. If he finds the prayer statue, he will definitely use it. But he's an incredibly shy, sly social player to be able to make the most of the voting system. On a good day, Mouse might be able to, to deduce the two traitors and stop Bunny from dominating. However, any race where the prayer statue is activated is a race which will end incredibly bloodily. It's not the story we're aiming for. Is that the true... That feels like the... Yeah, that's the true path. Alrighty. Wow. That was a hell of a... That was a hell of a time. Oh... I think I pretty much covered all of the thoughts that I'm going to have on Bunny's story situation. In the moment there. Yeah, maybe he maybe he did once have good intentions, but no longer. I I can't any longer say that he has good intentions for things. When he's been this deep into the corruption and the mire. It was getting her hands dirty to clean up the muck. And then there's getting your hands dirty to clean up the muck and then drowning in it. And then I feel like that's what, that's what happened here. Assuming Bunny was once a good person. Which is uh, questionable. given that he seems to have some degree of sociopathic, manipulative tendencies to him. But, uh... Yeah. 
perhaps his attempts were doomed from the get-go. Not just due to the depth of the corruption, but due to his own personality as well. Interesting. That was a... Hmm. Gotta say, overall, I, overall, I really like that route. God, there's a lot of really good routes in here. Changing the game up nicely. I'd have to struggle to rank these from favorite to least favorite in terms of character. I suppose I'll try to put together a comprehensive reasoning for everything. I mean, hey, if you want me, if you want me to, like, sit down and take ten minutes and give me, give me, my, give you my uh, top twelve zodiac trial routes. Rank the uh, zodiac trial routes ranked from uh, least favorite to most favorite. I will do that. Or if it's just my top five favorite routes. I'll do it. <laughs> I think everything has been... Everything has been just unique enough that I think... I've... Yeah, I've really enjoyed this. But, I'm wasting video time. I gotta go back and... get other wraps. Other endings. Did this. What happens if we... Does not seem like a good idea. I'm telling us to debate who to murder? It's barbaric. I don't want any part of that. It's amoral, it's creepy, it's wrong. There's a thousand things I could say against it. Alright, well, what's your idea? Idea? You don't have one, do you? In that case, we're gonna go with this one. There's no way we can outplan the traitors, so instead we're gonna have to outvote them. You don't like the you don't like the arguing, you can stay silent. See how much good that does for you that does you for the votes. And so like it or not, the shitty praying game had reached its final stage. I guess we'll skip and see if this changed anything. Okay, it didn't really change anything. I trust monkey and dog. I think it's less likely that monkey and dog are the traitors. Oh, how sweet. I appreciate the sentiment, but could I could I ask why? They were both the selected voters in the second vote, right? Someone other than the people they chose got two votes. Which means that the two traitors must have coordinated their pick. Okay, but even if that's the case, couldn't one of them have lied about who they voted for? I suppose they could have. But wouldn't it have been better for them to have said they randomly selected Tiger? That one of the traitors got lucky? I guess. Well, for my money, I think it's sheep. Okay, that didn't seem to change anything. Sheep, dog dead. Hmm. We come back to this. Is this the only meaningful choice here? Dragon. Definitely dragon. The fuck? Are you being serious right now? Or should just execute it? What other, what other explanation could there be? Obviously, it was that bitch monkey's doing. No, I don't buy that. Why the hell not? She's been shady all game. Perhaps. I know her better than anyone here. She's been my therapist for a long time. I know she couldn't do something like this. Hmm. The fuck? You seriously buy that? I believe her more than a violent gang leader like you. You've been quick to orchestrate group votes, quick to start fights, quick to find any reason to kill. I'm sorry to say it, Dragon, but I agree with Mouse. As do I. Well, from my point of view, your guilt is confirmed. You should have been so sloppy with your final moves. That's your criticism? What the hell? Mouse, you fucking moron, you're gonna get us all killed! Try to think about things for half a second, would ya? No, I'm sick and tired of you lying to me. Come on, guys, let's vote this witch dead for good. Uh-oh. I angrily walked off to the restroom. I had had enough of these games. I was going to vote her out. I got my tablet. And? But blood, leave the right side of my neck. Well, no leave is too kind a word. Spurt out. A gusher. Why? 
I've been stabbed in a clean, in a clean, in out motion. With what? By who? How would I know? I'm dead. <laughs> Toilet. <laughs> the one with the victorious personality is very sly. Their game is one built for the long game. The fewer people left, the easier it will be for them to blitz to a victory. Mouse must see through people's facades and let logic guide her. Well, that's the third one. So how do we get number two? Okay, monkey, time to die. It's definitely monkey. What? Why does it have to be me? Horse was just executed. What other explanation could there be? Dragon, dragon could be the traitor. No, I don't buy that. Why not? You think murder is above, is above her type? I don't. I do think that carrying on pointless victories is above her. If she was the traitor, she could have already won. Huh? Let's be honest, none of us are really a match for her. If she wanted to kill us, she could just beat the shit out of the three of us. Uh, hey now, I think we put up a pretty good fight. Ha! <laughs> In your dreams. Wanna put your bunny where your mouth is? Seriously, guys. Cut it out. Mouse, you're wrong. Please, listen to me. Monkey, dog was the other traitor. Bunny and dragon voted for him. You didn't. You're not listening to me. How long have we known each other? Do you think we... I don't know what to think anymore. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. But it has to be you. It isn't. I... I'm able to contain my frustration. I stomped my foot. I angrily walked off to the restroom. I had enough of these games. Stabby, stabby. I was going to vote her out. I took out my tablet. And... I felt blood leave the right side of my neck. Now why are you going to go with Stabby? I'm voting off the... I'm voting off the other non-traders, bunny. Come on, dude. No, leave is too kind of word. Spurt out. A gusher. Why? I stabbed in a clean in-out notion. What? By who? How would I know? I'm dead. Toilet. Slide. The game is one built for the long game. A few people left. Easier will be for them to blitz to a victory. Let logic guide her. Yeah, okay. That... It's interesting. What choices are we actually have to make in this round? Okay, we do this. Trust monkey and dog. Whoa. Wait. Well, okay, this is interesting. So we agree to agree to use logic, trust monkey and dog. After a while, however, dog spoke up. I think we should vote for mouse. What? What? Sorry, mouse. I don't mean you any disrespect. I just can't trust you. Seems like you're always up to something. You called me over. To, you called me over to vote for someone, but what was it? Three times? Something like that? You just seem like a schemer. Seem like a schemer? What the hell does that mean? This is rich coming from the guy who was what who was outside the library group when the dead people had their tablets taken away. Rich coming from the guy who was supposed to vote dragon in the first cycle. Mouse, where are these accusations coming from? You're not just saying things about Dog because he accused you, are you? What? Of course not. In that case, why didn't you speak up earlier? That's because I trusted you, Dog. Save it, you guys. We need to start voting again. The cycle's almost over. Okay, got it. But... There was no use. There was no time. Dog had made his accusation right before he needed to cycle out of the bathroom and input our votes. He voted against Dog, obviously, hoping people would listen. There was a sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach. When I heard my tablet speak, I could feel my heart dropping. Come on, don't say it. A total of three prayers. The great draconic gods have heeded the group's wishes and strike down Mouse. Fuck! I lunged at Dog, the perpetrator of my execution. I did not get far, however, before the blades entered my throat and I began to squirm. I fell on the ground and writhed. Writhed. Death, I was like a worm. Both in how I looked and in the respect I commanded. Damn. Then I fell to the floor. Savage, mouse the worm. Death via unpopularity. 
Hi, dog. I have diamonds. That's interesting. And few people are, when few are left, the prayer system will help the popular. With that same token, the traders will look to eliminate people they view as potential threats. Mouse needs to be aware of her social game early. She just wanted biting her in the ass later. After all, reputation is everything in life. Hmm. It's interesting that Dog took the opportunity. Okay, it did feel like when we cho when we chose uh, to defend Nunky and Dog, that, that was the weaker of the two arguments. That seemed to get people questioning us. So it makes sense then that. If we agree to think with if we agree to the to the discussion thing. We argue for monkey and dog. And I guess the point of that that choice was that by coming to Dragon's defense, she has our back in terms of further arguments. Consequently, Monkey has the, has our back as well, because it's a logical argument that we make for Dragon, compared to the one we make for Monkey and Dog. So... That makes sense. That's... Okay, I... That's a nice little twist to put on things, then. Because, uh... I would have been a little disappointed if... The other two bad endings just came from the final choice. So that was a nice that was a nice little surprise finding that one. I always appreciate little uh surprise twists and route logic. The stuff that makes you think and how to get different outcomes other than one singular branch going different directions. Just, uh, long, long, long-term branches where certain decisions pile up and eventually divert you onto a different route. Imagine they're much harder to plan and, pr plan and implement, but they're very, very, I, I love that stuff. Will this route get a place on my top five? Possibly. It was pretty good. I I, I enjoyed the, the change-up in this route. From Death Race to uh, Death Game by Majority. On that note, I just noticed how Horse's two cards in the middle here kind of line up to be uh, him stabbing you. Once. On bicep with knife. Put his cards together to get the a uh, stab you in the in the everything and die. I am curious if the other the other choice in that bunny dog branch will get us dogs a dog specific route. Is they were both like they both get pictures on this route, so. Realistically, I wonder if we get a dog-specific route by picking the other choice. And besides dog, who do we have left? Sheep? And then who? We got dragon. Dragon, tiger, horse... Rooster, bunny, snake, pig, monkey. Ox. Oh, oh, obviously mouse. 
Mouse. Yeah, we we might get a route where Mouse gets one of the bad personalities. That might actually be what we get next. Since the next choice we have is to go with Snake and Rooster instead. So we might. We might. We might very well be getting the mouse uh, aberrant personality route. Very interesting. Might be what's down this path. We'll find out next time. Until then. Until then.